Jesus Christ, he loved y'all. He loves us all. And, and being a Christian it's really a fun thing and it's a it's a journey it's a journey don't feel like you gotta be like this perfect person no jesus christ gonna help you be where you need to be okay so don't 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 get yourself worked up you know you got you walking with him and he gonna help you okay i'm telling you you good you what they what they what's the slang today <laughs> You breezy or something. You good. So don't feel like you don't have to overwhelm yourself with trying to like memorize every scripture and stuff like that. Um, just get get you a good routine going where you're praying, you're reading the word, and you're and you're spending time with the Lord. Get you a good little routine together. And as time goes forward, you're going to continue to keep walking with him. He's going to continue to keep transforming you. He's going to help you to learn the word really beautifully where you'll be able to help other people and understand it for yourself. Um, Just keep walking with him. Keep walking with him. He's here to help you. He loves you. You're not in this alone. Okay? Make sure your, your prayer life is good. I'm telling you, your prayer life is everything. Your prayer life is your foundation with Christ. Don't ever, don't ever put your foundation in a church or with a pastor. Your foundation is your prayer life. Okay? Because human beings, they mess up. So if your pastor mess up or your church mess up, and your foundation is just in the church and not in Jesus Christ through your prayer life, it'll make you to stumble. Or if somebody hurt your feelings, you'll be easy to walk away from God because you never really had a true foundation. Your true foundation comes from prayer. Okay, so what does prayer look like? Prayer is when you take a piece of your time and you dedicate it to the Lord. So 20 minutes before you get out your bed in the morning time, take that 20 minutes and just talk to God. Just talk to him. Tell him everything you going you want to do today, what's on your mind, what you worried about, what you happy about, whatever. Just like how you would talk to somebody on the phone, just talk to the Lord like that. Prayer, prayer is nothing but conversation. It starts there. Conversation. Eventually, it'll start growing into other things. But in the beginning, it's just conversation. Like you talking to your dad on the phone. So start there. And make sure that you pray in every day. Give them some time every day. That's your communication line to the Lord. And that's your foundation in your walk. Is through prayer. Even Jesus Christ prayed. He went away. He will go off into the mountains and speak to his father. And you should do the same thing. Pray to your father in heaven. That's where your foundation lies. And when you ask him questions, write them down. Because he's going to answer questions as y'all walk. As you walk with him. And you have those questions that you ask him doing your prayer. He going to start answering them. And then you write them down. And then by time before you know it, you're going to have this whole long book full of prayers and answers. And then it's going to grow your faith. That's going to grow your faith because you, you'll be able to actually see with your eyes the things that you prayed about and they came to pass. And it's growing your faith like so tall that it's so strong and it'll be hard for somebody to try to break your, your, your faith. Okay. I'm telling y'all, it starts with prayer. Getting into that secret place. Let me see if I can find a scripture real quick. Okay, Matthew 6, 6 says, 
But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Okay. And that doesn't mean that you can't pray in the open. It just means that you should have prayer that is also private. It's going to be a time where we have corporate prayer, where it's with everybody, you know, more than, you know, two two or more when they ask for things in, in the Lord's name, it shall be done. You know, it's going to be times where, where, where corporate prayer is needed and it's good, but it's also you need to be having your private prayer. It's, it's almost impossible to have a true relationship with the Lord and you never have private prayer. That's. That's like impossible to have like a true relationship. So make sure that you, you, you having your private alone time where it's just you and him and no distractions, cut off them phones and the, and the TVs and the, and then it says, um, Philippians four, six to seven, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends, transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. So it's just basically just saying, speak to the Lord. Tell him the things you're thankful for. Tell him the things that, that, that you're requesting, you know, the things that you're petition, per, petitioning for yourself and others. You know, tell him um, every situation. You know, tell them everything.